Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm working on uh, this 2008 Gen 2 Prius, and as you can see, the battery is removed. And uh, yeah, there's quite a few things to remove, but it's pretty straightforward. But in today's video, I want to concentrate on fixing or changing the cells and the Gen 2 battery. So I'm going to shut this down, make sure you put some here so you don't lock yourself out. Alright, and here's the battery. So, just got to take it in the house and we'll work on it there. It appears to be still original, never been messed with, what I could tell. Alright guys, so we got the battery pack here in the house and now we can start working on it. So the story with this battery pack is that this is from a car that I bought pretty cheap and I I suspected that it probably was going to have problems and it's having a lot of problems and one of them is the battery. I'm getting the uh, P0A80 or I forgot what it's called but the low voltage battery block uh, uh, code so one of the blocks is actually bad. In any case this is a pretty high mileage Prius with about 100 and 85,000 miles now and the ba and the battery pack looks to be original. Next step we need to do is we need to pull these screws out here and uh, pop this cover off so we can see the cells and go from there. Alright so once you take off all the bolts and nuts around there, there's uh, two pieces actually to this. There's a piece here that's still connected somehow. Oh I guess through this plastic thing. And then this top should come off too, so. Oh wait, there's another rubber piece here, hold it. Let's see, oh, there it goes. Lucky. Okay, that piece fell off. There we go. Just watch out not to cut your hands on the edges of this thing, they're pretty sharp. These metal pieces, covers that out of the way all right and now we have the exposed battery pack all right guys so I use the uh, torque app here as you can see on my phone and that's how I get um, the uh, the readings for these cells so you do have to download the PID PID uh, plugins to uh, make it work but in any case that's what I used here so you know Okay, and this is what the uh, this is what I had set up on my uh, Torque app here, and this is actually just a snapshot that I made of the uh, of the live reading. So basically, I got the highest and the lowest setting for every block, and there is uh, 14 blocks total. So all of them look good except for uh, number eight, block eight right here, this one. And as you can see, the lowest value here is 12.6. Highest value is 19.2. So it's definitely in here. The rest of them are pretty close to each other within a couple. But this one's way off. And I've actually seen that lower than that in the 11th. So it's bad. So it's definitely this one. And I've confirmed this over many drives. So and this is how I figure out where, where is what. So, so we're going to go to block 8. And block 8 we're going to count by 2. Starting with the computer starts with 1, 2, 3, four five six seven eight so it's one of these two so we're going to measure the voltages on these and see what they look like but before we can do that we need to take off these covers for the uh, battery um, terminals so just need to grab a screwdriver and pry these off and they'll pop right off as you can see here so and pop these uh, these on these side out too the next thing you want to do is you want to take out, once you figure out where your batteries are bad, you want to take out these uh, strips here. So you just take out all the uh, nuts and then it should just come right off. Simple as that. So this side's off also, but it has a lot more wiring to it, so it just kind of hangs. So but that's okay, that should work. So uh, next thing you want to do is you want to take off these rubber. Uh, breathing things they should just pop right off just like that just be kind of gentle with them they should come off pretty easily not too hard just like that 
All right, guys. So once you get <clears throat> all of your uh, stuff off here, um, I go ahead and went and took off these, and I took off all the little bolts that go under there. There they all are. So just go as far as you need. I need to go about to here. So all these underneath, I took off underneath there. So the only other thing you need to watch out for is there's little sensors. I don't know if you guys can see this, but you see this right here, this clip, there's a sensor there. So you gotta get these off before you um, disconnect the battery pack. So in any case, that needs to be done. Just wanted to let you know. But I'm gonna go ahead and loosen these two and this all should come out. This needs to go up here. So it might be a little bit difficult, but just playing around with it, it should pop right off. All right, so the cover is off, but the batteries really wanted to push. So you can see how much this battery went. It went about half an inch or more. But I think the reason why is they're still all warm. And because they're warm, they're bulged a little more. So yeah, wait till they cool off or they're, the car has been sitting overnight. So they're not warm, or at least for a few hours, I guess. All right, so I pulled these out in the front here, all in order. And so now I got to the cells that are affected here. These are, this is block eight. So if we count from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But I'm seeing that I have a few weak ones or at least one weak one on seven. But in any case, I guess I'm gonna swap both of these out with the new ones I got on eBay. And they are right here. So hopefully these are good. Got a pretty good deal on them. So, and I do have an extra one from a battery pack I did earlier, which this one's bad for sure, but this one's okay, I think. So maybe I will use that this one on the uh, on the block seven here. One of these two, I think it's this one. That's for some reason the voltage is just much lower than the rest. But the funny part is, is the voltage on these is good, just like the rest of them. I think the mistake I made is I didn't drain the battery before I took it off either. Um, maybe draining the battery all the way down before the engine starts again is a good idea. That way the voltage is as low as possible. That way you can tell better which that they're bad. But they're camouflaging themselves as being okay. And I did put a load through them a little bit and... I can't really tell that they're too bad right now. Part of the reason is they're warm right now too, so they might be okay because of that too. Because they've been operating. If they were just sitting overnight cold, they'd probably be more obvious. But in any case, that is block 8, and we're going to change it out. And we're going to look at block 7 here to uh, see if we can get one of these out too. Alright guys, so on block 7 here, I changed this one out. Left that one, and here's the two new ones on block 8 completely new ones and then we're gonna go ahead and put all those back don't forget to connect your little sensor here holders so alright guys so it's back together I have had a pretty hard time putting this back on because they were all swollen and it was sticking past by about here so anyways I use my whole body to kinda like push it all together and then start the bolts so anyways it all worked out fine so now I'm just gonna work in reverse order um, I'm not gonna do any kind of balancing whatever I'm just gonna put it back together and it'll charge and balance itself so alright so everything is connected and back where it needs to be and everything looks good so this is a quick fix that I'm doing I'm not doing anything step-by-step -step probe style just a quick exchange and put back together so under three hours of work what I'm trying to get but in any case uh, everything's ready I'm gonna put the case on the metal case and then I'll carry the battery outside and install it in the car alright guys so the battery is in the car so I haven't put all the trims on or anything like that it's all up in there but all the electronic part is connected, so we should be able to try it here. See what the car says. All right, guys. So let's start the Prius for the first time. See what happens. 
All right. Seems okay for now. Yep, everything's good. Battery showing okay. Should crank. And it cranked. Charging the battery. Okay, let's connect to our, I got the OBD2 connected here. The torque. See if we can get some real info here. There we go. Here's all the battery info right now, live. Yeah, it looks pretty good overall. So, I'm going to drive it around a little bit once I get a chance, and then I will be back and let you guys know how it all went. Alright guys, so I took a about 5 mile ride around, and everything looks great, to be honest. They all leveled out, and they're all acting the same, pretty much. So. Anyway, so I'm pretty happy with this fix. I think it's going to be fine for a while. But, uh, yeah, if anything happens, I'll update you guys. So, But that was a quick and easy fix. As you can see, I didn't balance anything, I didn't do anything special, I just changed them, slapped it back in, and honestly, whenever this thing charges, it it levels them all anyways, so there's, there's just nothing you can do about that, so I mean, there's no reason to try to get every cell or block whatever to be uh, precisely at some voltage, so anyway, so everything is good, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video, hopefully it'll help somebody. Uh, just a quick fix if you need to know how to take all the molding all that stuff around the trims and stuff to get to the battery There's plenty of videos for that, but I just wanted to make this quick video about replacing the cells. So Anyways, thanks for watching and we'll see you later Peace